Good evening, students, teachers, fellow alumni. My name is Tim Cardi. I'm a graduate of the entrepreneurship program at the University of South Florida, class of 2015. I just wanna say it's a great pleasure to be here because when it comes to business, friends, mentorship, and entrepreneurship, I have taken a lot away from the program at USF and I'm very excited for the chance to give back. So something to let you know, I don't actually own my own business. Today, I work as a customer success manager at Know Before, a leader in cybersecurity who recently went public a few months ago. Now, my job is to work with our customers as primary point of contact post-sale to ensure that they're happy, healthy, and successful utilizing our software. So as a customer success manager, my business is working with customers to make them successful with our product. I am the CEO of my own territory, and while I'm held to certain metrics by management, how I handle my customers on a day-to-day -day and how I drive them towards success is completely within my discretion. So you can say I took another route with my entrepreneurship degree. Instead of starting my own company, I've had a hand in helping many others try and start theirs. I have a broad range of experience in working in different technology startups, both in sales and customer success. I've worked at bootstrap startups, early venture funded, and even unicorn startups. Now, something I'm gonna share with you about USF is great school, but the most valuable learning experiences you're going to have are gonna take place outside the classroom. If you were gonna to go to class and then go home after getting your grade, you're depriving yourself of the full college experience. I'm just gonna take a, a minute to share with you a little about some experiences that I had at USF, so hopefully you can take advantage of them too if the opportunities are still there. One of the best decisions I wanna say I ever made was attending the Creative Problem Solving Institute at Buffalo. We call it SIPSI. Uh, this conference brought together an assortment of professionals whose job it was to teach you how to think creatively. Now, knowing how to think outside the box, how to find new and innovative ways of implementing change and working with teams, it's an incredible skill to have. I still utilize the skills that I learned at SIPSI to facilitate positive change with my customers and internally creating workflows around how to best manage and support them. Uh, knowing how to work in teams uh, to think creatively and implement new processes and uh, propose new ventures, it's a great skill to have in any business that you work in or decide to start. And of course, there's Startup Weekend, which is a major event that I recommend all of you attend if you can. You get together with fellow students and business professionals, at least I did on two occasions, and you pull out all the stops to have a startup ready within a weekend. So learning what it takes to move something from an idea to a ready to launch business in just a weekend is such a valuable experience. It gives you a taste of what it really takes to grind it out and start a business while working with a diverse group of people uh, with skills, attributes, and talents. Now again, these experiences, they took place outside the classroom and I still take the life lessons and skills that I picked up from both of these and apply them in many cases today to at least my career in startups. So something I wanna highlight here is my first full-time experience in a startup was not a success. We had just launched a brand new product that was supposed to take our business um, from a slow startup to a profitable company. And in this experience, I really got to feel the understanding of the extra weighted importance that you have in an early stage company. Um, everything I did had major impact and affected our bottom line. And I had to fight tooth and nail to help close every deal possible. And I was always finding myself stepping out of my comfort zone to learn a new skill or a role on the job. I was able to facilitate change. I had a hand in that with very little politics or red tape involved. You know, procedures for onboarding customers, how to train them, uh, making them successful. All of this, this was completely shaped by me. Of course, as I mentioned, some startups make it and must, most do not. 
And that is a pill you're going to have to learn how to swallow at some point in time. That my experience was the latter of the two. And overnight, I lost a startup that I had grown to love. Our CEO sent us all an email letting us know we had to come in early the next morning. And then we all found out we were out of work. And this this really taught me that you have to take the good and bad with being an entrepreneur because failure will always give you two options. You can stay down or you can get up. The next position I, I joined was a, a unicorn startup in hyper growth mode, which means you know they were valued at over a billion dollars. They built an amazing sales product that they used to grow their business. And the biggest problem was just trying to keep up, right? Product fixes were deployed daily. Feature requests came out three times a week. Uh, once a new feature and functionality was released, we had very little training processes around uh, training and supporting it. So there was no standardization of any kind. New features you had to figure out on your own and become a subject matter expert uh, within hours. Every day you were expected to wear multiple hats and every day you'll be expected to get outside your comfort zone. But I learned a lot, so much uh, with this process. So when I came back to Florida, I worked in sales for a little bit before coming back into customer success where I started working at No Before, an uh, amazing company that recently just went public. Now, the company itself has set up an amazing customer support, uh, customer success team that they have really, uh, really streamlined and made effective, effective. And I've been in a lot of different startups, so it's great to see what the finished product looks like. And what I really appreciate about Know Before that is not an opportunity, not something that I've had at other companies, is that while I am the success manager for my customers, I feel that I have four or five people back here that are committed to my success. I have a great manager, an internship coordinator, a growth manager, and a performance coach, all that are the nicest people in the world that are there to help me get my job done. So something that I've learned from all these experiences in startups is that you're going to learn a lot. You're going to be pushed and you're going to have to take a lot of ownership in what you do because what you do is going to have a major impact on your business. So some of the faculty have asked me to speak about some of the internship opportunities uh, that are available to some of you guys. I know, especially at No Before, we have a lot of great uh, internships and opportunities available. Um, one of them that I really want to highlight is the Sales Accelerator. It's a 100% virtual program. It's fantastic because you get to do real virtual learning um, and you get a, a really great uh, one-on-ones with uh, some of our senior sales leaders and growth leaders and they can mentor you and really just help you get uh, help going. And also what it'll do is they'll give you a great chance to migrate into a sales internship. Again, this is a, a learning program, it's not an internship, but uh, once you go through this program, you can have a really great chance to uh, segue into another internship. And we have a very, very wide range of different internships available in the summer of 2022. Anything from cybersecurity, uh, sales, customer success, career development, finance. Now, um, some of these opportunities are specific towards those with graduate experience, others for undergrad. I really encourage you to check out our website, dig deep, um, find something that works best for you. And then if you're looking for an internship opportunity outside of tech, my good friend Nick Price is working at Doc Living. I used to work for Nick uh, when he had his startup City Sleekers back in college. Uh, he's looking for young aspiring professionals who want to start a business from the ground up in the real estate market. They do a lot of great things with affordable housing and smart communities and subscription-based living arrangements. He's uh, he's just looking for interns who really want to test their mettle in entrepreneurship, and he can teach you a lot. He recently just secured a, a half million dollar round of funding from an investor. He's raising more. He's constantly in the ecosystem in Tampa Bay. And then my friend Alex Abel and his startup Lunch Pool is growing. Uh, I competed against him in Startup Weekend about three years ago. Uh, we've kept in touch. He's uh, He made a major pivot with his business and turned it into an online event management space. That's 
actually some really cool functionality if you've got a chance to check it out. He is looking for an event coordinator intern. Um, you can reach out to him and uh, apply. I've left all the information on these events and opportunities um, with your um, faculty members, the ones that encouraged me to come in. So in closing, if you ask me what you should do while you're in college, I'd say start today. If you have your own business, start now while you have the resources and flexibility of not having a job or a family. The best time to start a business is usually when you're young and you have little to lose or when you already have a established career and you want something to look back on. If you're looking for work, if you wanna get a job, start looking at internships and applying for jobs now. Don't think that when you graduate and an email goes out to all the companies highlighting your stats and achievements, it's on you to be known. Network everywhere you can, get as much exposure to people as you can. You never know what opportunity you'll get by being in front of people. Don't wait, start now. Thank you so much, go Bulls.